check in with uh, progress on the paint. John will actually primer colors down. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd throw out some of the paint colors that I will be using. Um, the, the base color I'm going to use is this uh, palm leaf green color. It's actually very similar to the original color that was on the ship, but uh, this will this will be good for for that. Um, for the dark green paneling, I'm going to use this uh, holly branch green. And for if there's any light green paneling, I'm going to use this uh, pale green color right here. Um, there is a section couple of sections are supposed to be 50-50 uh, purple and white so I've taken care of that I'm actually going to do the original color um, some of the the primer color is this uh, medium gray but I'll also use that possibly later mixed with some other stuff for some detailed work also obviously a black <clears throat> um, a great detail color burnt umber burgundy and teak gold it's got a metallic look to it to be good for metal parts and then um, silver metallic silver so those are good for metal parts those right there and then, of course, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to try to paint the decal. So I've got um, the colors for that. Actually, purple is one of those colors. And then I'll need blue and uh, yellow. And I think red. Those are the other colors in the, like in the Klingon symbol. Um, I'm probably not going to try to paint the Klingon writing. That, that'll be a little much. But anyway, um, the fun part has started as far as I'm concerned. Um, so primer down so next will be the base paint color so it's going to return almost back to the original color that it was um, I'm and of course I use acrylic so I am going to water it too so it so it's going to be um, it's going to be real light because I want this gray to pop out a little bit that's, that's behind it because uh, like I said I want this ship to have that weathered lived in look um, also I've done some uh, washes for um, for some of the detail I've got this brown stuff it's actually I believe actually I don't know down where it is it's a uh, antique gold and burnt umber and then I got a black and silver that I've done This one's cool too. It is a burgundy and antique gold. So, as you see, I'm trying to simulate colors for rust and just general uh, weathering, wear and tear. So, um, like I said, the fun part has started the painting. Um, and I guess when I go to do the windows, I'll, you know, I'll go, I have some fine detail brushes. I'll just go in there and spec out uh, or spec in the. Uh, the color of the light so anyway uh, thanks for watching and catch you on the flip side back again here um, the main base coat is down on the or painted onto the ship um, I don't know if it's visible I think it is but I actually did some of the detail red in there already. I did the red first before I even put any of the green on. And I did some of the red in the back ready as well. Um, so, uh, but anyway, I'm getting ready to do the wing details. I'm going to start with the bottom first. So, I'm getting ready to um, flip it over and start that. So, catch you on the flip side. Back again 
in here uh, just to show some of the progress I've made with some of the detailed paint. Um, I started to, at first I was sticking to the directions, um, but I didn't like the way it was coming out. Could be to the color, uh, the darkness of the, uh, of the of this uh, green paint. I couldn't really make out the paneling on some of the stuff, so I said, well, I had this other green paint that I was going to use and if I wasn't going to use the, the purple and white combination, which I've decided I'm not going to do. I'm going to use this light green instead. Um, so I am breaking from the directions. I'm doing a little bit of my own thing. And uh, I ended up really liking this uh, this light green. What is it, what is it called? Pale green. And I'm honestly, I'm wishing I'd done the base color of the ship in the pale green and used this uh, palm leaf green as the accent color uh, on the paneling and then maybe use this for some of the other minor accents and it would I think it would look really good but anyway I guess if I ever get the kit again I'll, I'll do another you know painted version but anyway I'll, I'll just show some of what's going on there and that's what I've done uh, next I'm probably going to paint the Klingon symbol um, I ended up was only supposed to paint these two ended up painting the rest of them I'm at, and I'm not supposed to do these but I decided I like this pale green so much and I'm going to go up here and do that and lighten up the ship a little bit. I think the ship needs a lot of lightening up. Um, and oh I've done some of the uh, uh, machinery paint there. I don't know if this shows up. Some, I put some uh, antique gold and some silver down on some of the equipment and I'll, I'll do that in various locations of the ship make it look a little more realistic but anyway um, it's coming together quite well and I, I realize that I think I've been calling part of the in, impulse which is really the shuttle bay I believe so I gotta repaint that so I'll, I'll do something metallic there I think it calls for the base color there but I don't think I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna put like a metallic look anyway um, it, I, it's coming together quite well um, as far as the going to look really good I think to be um, had some basic filming so anyway uh, catch you on the flip side